<laughs> Yo, man, you want to listen to some Deftones in my car? Uh, sir, this is a Wendy's. I, I don't know you. The uneven gaps in your teeth is making me uncomfortable. Please get away from me. Which is gayer? Being gay or whatever the hell Louie and Legoshi have going on? You know, it has, it has been like, what, more than half a decade since Beastars came out? To this day, no one has ever known what kind of relationship Louie and Legoshi had. I mean, you can ask around, but there's really no definitive answer. Are they gay? Are they friends? Are they friends with benefits? No one knows. Nobody actually knows. When he gives you this look, you know it's time to come into the danger zone. I mean, yeah, you're talking about making love on what appears to be a snowbank, and you don't—you didn't even bring a condom. That's definitely a danger zone. Which one are you? Fanboy midriff? Female midriff? Does it matter? <laughs> midriffs are midriffs. Who cares? It's a biological female or a femboy. They both look cute. I'll have them both at the same time. Who cares? Hey, how was school today? A kid in art class told me the titties on my lizard woman didn't make sense. And what did you do? I just drew them bigger and said it's fictional. I draw what I want, you plebeian. Atta boy. Yeah, cuz it looks good. Have you ever heard of the tale of the lusty Argonian maid? A meme like that wouldn't exist if it didn't involve giving a lizard a pair of big boobies. Okay? A lot of people appreciate big boobies on lizard folk. Just let them live. Drawing fat people incites obesity! What next? Minecraft incites flat earth theory? <laughs> what kind of ivermectin taking, Karen hair wearing, science denying bullshit is this? Can't tell if fanboy or programmer. You know, you can be both those things. Like, seriously, it's like telling me I can't be a voice actor and be a YouTuber at the same time. You can be both. It's okay. Me casually having lunch with my grandparents until I hear the most homophobic comment that I have ever heard in my life. Eh, good, more nervous sipping. See, at that point, that's when you start to not visit anymore. They want to continue living in the past? Let them. You have your entire future ahead of you. Leave them and never ever look back. Some random anti-furry. Furries being themselves. You're all fatherless. You're not loved. Quit having fun! See, anti-furs, this is what you sound like to us. You're annoying, but you can be easily ignored. You're insufferable, but hey, you're profitable. Your desperate cries for attention are useless to you, but useful and profitable to me. You say we're not loved, bullshit. We love each other. We have other furries that love us, that wants to be around us, that and I wanting to be around them. It would be easy to just tell you to stop doing what you're doing, but why would I? <laughs> when your misplaced hatred towards me lines up the folds in my pockets. So, keep screaming. <laughs> no one can hear you. Every full moon, the werewolf comes out. How many times do I have to tell you I am not a werewolf? I, I am gay though. Yas queen! Good for you! Mmm! <laughs> Look at you, you're a, you're a very thick ass boy. <laughs> you uh, you were doing anything uh, uh, tonight? I wonder how far I could stick my tongue up your butt before I pass out. Eh, uh, gay? Sorry, that was a strange thing to ask. No, it took Puss, B Puss in Boots major courage to face death head on and face his waning mortality. But it takes Major League Titanium Balls to look death in the face and say, I will devour your ass. It just doesn't happen, man. That just doesn't happen. Jesus Christ. A collection of drawings, some cruder than others. Most of them feature kobolds in various degrees of nakedness, some performing sexual acts on themselves, and some on each other. The final pages, however, feature more varied subjects, a soaring red dragon, Githyanki of various ages, and surprisingly detailed depictions of wine bottles. Number 15, Burger King Footless. <laughs> I'm 
never, I'm never gonna get tired of doing that voice. <laughs> I wanna kiss him, but not on the lips. Where then? Where, where are you going to kiss them? I, I mean, do I like have to point them out for you? Like draw a map of it? I mean, okay, here we go. You know what? Screw you! Fanboy Phoenix, your fox. So basically, you did nothing. If anything, you added more to that charm. You took nothing and added everything. This is like the equivalent of putting melted cheese on a freshly cooked, medium rare steak. Mm. What? Too scared to get in the water? You too scared to go swimming with daddy? Ah, it's okay, son. I'll be patient. The water is just fine. Don't worry. I'm not gonna bite you. Unless you want me to. Mm. Wow, that lady on the left looks hella cute. Jacob, that is a guy. Mm, even better. Oh my god, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob is uh, a bit of a freak. God damn. That's why I don't bully furries, because if they can afford a $9,000 fursuit, they can afford to put a pipe bomb in my mailbox. Or you could just befriend us. You know, that way you could live your life knowing that you will never wake up to a pipe bomb in your mailbox because you have made friends with one of the most influential communities in the internet. Although, you may get surprise hugs every now and then, so you're gonna have to watch out for those. Babe, wake up! A new way to talk to short people just dropped! This maneuver is called brain damage! I mean, you could obviously see why. <laughs> that grip is uh, stronger than Gorilla Coochie. And as the phrase Gorilla Coochie flies out of my mouth, I shall now wash my mouth out with Listerine, cause that's just nasty. Someone's been sleeping on my bed. Someone's been sleeping on my bed. In my bed as well. Wait, when did you guys get another bed? Uh, your dad and I have been unhappy for a long time. Then get a divorce. God damn you, get a divorce. No one is forcing you to stay together and drag on the inevitable and just prolong the trauma on your child. Jesus Christ, just get a divorce. Haters, furries are cringe. Furries, well of course, that's what makes us powerful. And not only that, it's also profitable. The significant number of anti-furries uh, visiting my videos to call me cringe is absolutely annoying, but... God damn it, I would be lying if I said it wasn't beneficial. And another thing, anti-furs, listen to me. If you hate us, why do you keep watching us? This is a genuine question. I'm really curious about this. It baffles me so much because I understand the concept of if I don't like something, I don't come looking for it. It is rather simple. But you guys, every time me or some other furry content creator uploads a video, you would be there three seconds flat to call that creator cringe. I just don't get it. Why do you keep coming back? Femboy or fem man? Both. I shall go for both. You know, I'm not really that picky when it comes to like looking for people to have some extracurricular activities with. But, you know, so long as they're down for some fun and they consent, we're vibing, man. Damn. Blue Sky currently becoming 9-11 for tech guys. This is insane. There are at least five furry porn images on what's hot right now. Have you lost control of this platform? Horn armies? Yeah. Here's the thing. A huge indicator if your platform is going to stick around for a while is the number of furries joining it. Now, I'm not going to exaggerate it and say that the internet is like run by furries, although it may feel like that sometimes. It's just, you know, there's a lot of us out there. There is untapped potential revenue if you cater towards our community. You just have to know what you're doing in order to actually tap into it. 